animals, a significant part of nature, a substantial role in the food chain, and also our companion in life. 4th October, a day whereby people from all over the world share the same objective to respect and love the animals who share the planet with us. World Animal Day was founded in 1931 and it was to highlight the plight of endangered animals but since then it has evolved to include animals of, of all kinds, so big and small and it's really become a day of celebration for anyone who cares about animals. From having animal blessings in church to campaigns that raise awareness about the objectives of this day, it is wonderful to get people from different nationalities, religions, races and beliefs to come together to make this day a memorable one. World Animal Day is dedicated to all the animal lovers to remind them of how animals have been a big part of their lives, especially the domestic animals. Statistics have shown that pet ownership in Singapore has been increasing over the years as the nation becomes more affluent. But pet lovers would rather buy young pets from a pet shop because they are cute, they look adorable and most importantly, they are new. Nobody would mind getting a new pet, but do you know where these baby animals come from? Behind closed doors, female animals are forced to breed until they are rendered useless. This act of forced breeding has created the puppy mill industry. Our production team tried to seek out the truth behind the doors of these puppy farms. However, we were firmly rejected. Although there are thousands who buy pets from the pet shop, there are still people who are willing to adopt pets from the animal shelter. Um, I think when people come to the SPC to adopt animals is because they want to give an unwanted pet at home, which is really good because um, uh, we encourage that, you know, because we have so many unwanted animals being surrendered to the SPCA. The, more, the, the only way we can actually help them is if people were to help us by adopting them. Chong Po Chu, an education officer in SPCA. She has been a staff in there for three and a half years. As the love and passion for dogs grow, she finally met a perfect companion three years ago. That was the turning point in her life. Meet Chaplin, a four and a half years old cross Dachshund mix, adopted by Po Chu. I used to come to SPCA so often, like every weekend, to take a look at the dogs. I've always wanted dogs and uh, just one fine day my eyes set on him and I think we just sort of click, you know, and uh, yeah, that's how I adopted him. He was the last puppy, the owner never came back for him and uh, so the SPCA put him up for adoption. You know, there's so many animals in shelters and off the streets that need homes, why can't, why don't I just open my home to one of these existing ones instead of getting pet shops to breed more for my consumption. Everyone says that a dog is a man's best friend. The interaction and the quality time spent together plays an important part in building that special bond between the animal and its owner. We walk every day in the evenings, we go out for walks. He used to walk twice a day when he was younger and more active. And uh, I feed him, I bathe him, yeah, and uh, cuddle him, let him come to me. He trusts me a lot. He's like, uh, he's very, very devoted to me. Po Chu's life has never been the same since Chaplin came. People always assume that pet owners are the caregivers in the relationship. However, the kind of love and attention owners receive from their pets are affection that could not be easily replaced. He's been a great friend because I, I look forward to going home each day, no matter what time, because he's just at the door. He would welcome me with kisses and uh, he would just be so happy to see me. And when I get home and I relax, he just wants to sit down with me and relax with me together. It's, it's a very nice feeling to know that when you come home each day, somebody is there for you. Animals are creatures that need love and attention just like us human beings. Animals are living things 
that can create an impact in an individual's life, bringing joy, love and affection. But for some, these creatures are just a tool to vent their anger on putting pain, suffering and scars on them. Every day, every minute, every second, there is an animal out there that is being ill-treated. In 2009 alone, 864 abuse cases were investigated by the SPCA. Taking care of pets can be stressful. However, is stress a good reason for pet owners to vent their frustration on these animals? 47 years old, David Hoi Yin Wing is a well-known serial cat killer in Badok. He began his act of cruelty at the early age of 15. From smashing cats with a rock and throwing them from a great height, David Hoy has done it all. He recently he just came out from the prison because um, he killed the stray cats. He threw the stray cats inside the dustbin, then uh, behind the window. Uh, uh, that is what I heard. Uh. Research conducted by FBI has shown that serial killers have abused animals at an age as young as 7 or 8 years old. If you actually examine their history, you can actually notice that 99% of them have been animal abusers. So when you actually want to look at abuse, you can actually look at some of the factors that can actually contribute to serious abuse. For example, family, violence, the environment the person is actually growing in. So these are some of the factors that can actually contribute to abuse. After David Hoy was caught, he was found to be diagnosed with antisocial personality disorder. If you actually see anyone who's a serious abuser, we need to put a full stop to that because uh, this behaviour will not just stop with animals. As we have actually seen a lot of studies, a lot of research, evidence have proved that it is like a red flag to say that this man can be a serial killer or even a rapist in future. So what we can do over here is we can actually start rehabilitation because uh, giving capital punishment doesn't really help. The act of animal cruelty in Singapore needs to be addressed seriously as this act shows how Singaporeans are not fully aware of this problem. Animal cruelty must be put to a stop. In 2009, the highest number of cases was reported in March whereby 95 animal cruelty cases was reported. A shocking truth. See, I, I think, you know, a lot of people don't realise that animals have feelings just like you and me. Um, they can express joy, pleasure, as well as sadness. And I think when we deprive the animal of the love and attention that they deserve, you know, it's really sad. So I think we have an obligation to take care of our pets, okay, to be kind to them and bring out the best in them. Um, we need, we are the vo we should be the voice for the voiceless. These animals really depend on us for everything. Under the Animals and Birds Act, anyone who is found guilty of such offence, including abandonment of any animal, can be imprisoned to a maximum of 12 months and or a penalty up to a maximum of $10,000.